Good afternoon. Um, so the semester is about to end and uh, now I think uh, it's about time to talk about the format of your research article. Okay, as as you know, there are there could be no uh, in the real world uh, of research there there are different uh, research uh, formats depending on the on the journal uh, where you are going to submit okay so so because uh, because of this reality uh, we have to be able to adapt ourselves in whatever uh, format no? uh, the journal or the research organization requires so well having said that so we will try to adapt a certain format uh, for this uh, research methods article which are going to submit uh, before the semester ends and uh, um, uh, this is just a research article okay so um, so when you do your thesis eventually there will be another format uh, so it's, it's just a format actually it's just how you uh, you arrange the the different elements of the research the different parts of the research manuscript or article the font size the margin things like that no but uh, the 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 essence the substance of the research uh, is still very much the same no? uh, another th another uh, mark difference between the formats would be the the citation uh, formats no? the style by which uh, you will arrange a uh, different bibliom bibliographic uh, data like the author's name how is it arranged uh, the way the way you you write the the name uh, family name usually then separated by a comma and then uh, uh, the the first name uh, initial the initial uh, letter of the the, the first name etc no so all of this whether the 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 date of publication is uh, enclosed in a parenthesis separated by whatever no so we are going to use uh, uh, Harvard okay Harvard format uh, in the past we have been using the APA format uh, American Psychological Association format but now uh, we, we we have transitioned into Harvard because it seems that the Harvard format is more uh, uh, more used no, uh, by uh, the sciences and uh, where where architecture belongs okay so what I'm gonna do is to walk you through the the word document file so it's a template so all you have to do is to uh, use the template no and not not change uh, not change the formatting style okay of course you have to uh, write your your words the the your manuscript uh, but you have to use the the font uh, the the margin the size and etc no the uh, so this uh, I'll show you later uh, how uh, how it looks like and uh, that's why you know my my greatest uh, fundamental advice to you is to when you copy uh, copy uh, no when you highlight the different uh, uh, words or paragraphs of your of your narrative of your story you have to paste it as text okay uh, paste it as a plain text so that it will adapt to the format of of the template of the word uh, document template okay so here here it is no uh, so uh, okay so i will take you to my uh, to my screen which is the uh, which is the the template no so i i call it um, arrm article template okay so research article template and i'm gonna upload this in the lms so that you can download it and make sure you 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 download it and then uh, never change okay so uh, so um, let let us first uh, talk about uh, the different elements so the first one would be the title okay so uh, as you can see the title is 
all the fonts are Arial, okay, so the title is Arial size 12, okay, so it's there, no, so don't change it is, uh, into something else, no, the, don't, never, uh, don't be, please, uh, please, no, uh, don't change it into uh, uh, a more fancy uh, font, uh, that period, okay, that's it, no, and then uh, the second one, the second line is your name, okay, your name here your name here okay not including the the upper uh, this one the the number one uh, what do you call that uh, superscript okay superscript uh, number that's one and it uh, pertains to uh, this one uh, that you are the student of the College of Architecture and Fine Arts so it's, it's very simple no just write your name in this manner no y your fa first name middle initial family name and uh, and me no uh, illuminado de Guindo junior as the the second author no so uh, because you're doing this uh, with my assistance so you and I are the authors okay but uh, we are the primary author now next no so uh, first is the title in bold area 12 then this one and and one and two superscript you don't change anything there no okay and then the abstract okay so here is the abstract don't put that in the middle not so uh, the the abstract must not exceed 200 words so it's um, it's a uh, they call it suck succinct okay it's like uh it's like the entire research in six sentences six or seven sentences okay so uh, make sure that uh, you are able to uh, write uh, your kind of like introduction in two sentences something like that uh, obviously your research question maybe one one question one line one sentence and then now uh, your methodology is written in one sentence then your findings and some discussion very short two sentences no believe that no and then your conclusion in one sentence so all, all so introduction two sentences research question included three sentences methodology maybe one sentence uh, then uh, results and discussion maybe two sentence sentences and and your conclusion uh, another sentence which is seven okay so uh, so that's the abstract so if the abstract is a uh, very very uh, very very uh, helpful no in understanding what your research is without having to go through the entire manuscript so it will help uh, uh, possible in more interested uh, people researchers to look into what you have done what are the findings and uh, and and whatever no what whatever you did in your research in just uh, as i've said seven seven sentences so it's very short not then okay next keywords no um or this is a, a rather misnomer so keywords or key phrases but they they write it keywords no? so for example uh what are what if you will if you will uh kind of like search for uh, research that uh, that if somebody would like to re search or find your research what are the words that or the keywords that that person should use so climate change for example no, is one is considered one now if your research has something to do with tropical design that's another word persons with disability pwd that's another word and then louvers for example well, that's another and safety uh, and, and that's another word so there there should be five keywords okay so although as i've said uh, you, you might this might be misleading because 
in if you look look at this one two three four five six seven eight nine these are really nine words no, but but in in essence these are just key uh, key group of words or key phrases okay <coughs> then now the first part uh, with with that number one is the introduction okay so you will you will see here there's a space and then uh, your <coughs> excuse me the, your story no uh, of course what I wrote here are are what we call uh, text fields no okay uh, these are absolutely uh, these are absolutely sense senseless. I uh, if I look at the the internet, you no, know, I I use the internet to to you to fill in some words. I I just tell the internet to give me uh, a paragraph or several paragraphs and with containing several words, and then this is what they do. Okay, but in reality, okay, please. Please uh, don't speak in Latin or whatever. If you speak in English, okay. So your introduction here, no. So uh, you notice that after each paragraph, uh, there is no space and it is just indented, no. So uh, that's it, no. So your story, no. If 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 your introduction is made up of several paragraphs, etc., no. Okay, you you add paragraph, okay. So as uh, I I mentioned before, my advice to you when you write the introduction is to is to talk about the three elements that that frame or that that uh, help in coming up or describing your problem. Okay. So what are these three elements? It's the literature, um, the literature that you have read no that helped you become more aware and more uh, you, you 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 become more appreciative of the situation so so you will you will see here uh citations from various uh researchers uh, sorry or authors okay so that's one maybe that's that's a uh, a considerable amount of of uh, inputs here from the literature and then the the context, no? uh, uh, whatever the problem is, it happens on on a particular place, no, uh, on a particular group of people. Uh, it cannot happen in in the continent, <laughs> okay? In in Asia, okay. So yeah, pro if if it is a is a uh, for example a uh, a research question or problem related with uh, for example, acoustics. Then you might be uh, looking into the problem experienced by by some uh, elementary schools in a particular barangay or uh, district of the city. So that's the context. So uh, if you are talking of safety eh, or fire exits, then when you study. Uh, and then your focus are are for example uh, hotels then then hotels where uh, so hotels in uh, in no, no in the downtown Davao or something in con context okay and then lastly would be the research area okay so talk about um, is it is it does your research uh, have something to do with uh, with uh, thermal comfort, uh, I lighting, illumination, or whatever, no? so all of those, so so that we can surely and uh, certainly relate your research to architecture no? and not to agriculture or uh, finance or or something else. Okay, so we are uh, first and foremost. Uh, making a research related or in the field of architecture so so that's your introduction and then you usually and, and so not usually I I tell you I advise you to culminate no to end your introduction with with a brief description of the problem because the the research literature the research area and the context somehow describes 
a problem okay so a problem uh, as I if you have been following my my lectures the fl the problem is not is not the same as the research question okay the problem is is a is an eti enigmatic condition no? like like something that that uh, that uh, uh, that people are are not uh, have to deal with no? uh, they it should not happen but it's happening so those, those are the problems uh, this is what we want but we are not able to get what we want or uh, uh, for example uh, construction uh, when the architect you know when the architect says that this is the budget maybe most <laughs> maybe uh, the the budget is always most of the time uh, overrun okay I if you <laughs> if you I don't know if you are interested perhaps uh, if you if you are going to make a survey on on the accuracy no, of the architect's uh, budget or estimate, uh, most of the time it's it's way way below the real uh, cost of the building. Of course, the budget is a is an estimate, okay, uh, by the word, but uh, so. So if 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 people no prepared three million but the house ends up five million, then there's a problem. Okay, there's a problem there because uh, it might not be be finished or whatever. So, uh, so or or when when, for example, people in the corridor they they keep on uh, sliding no or meeting accidents. So there's a problem. That that's a problem, but that is not the research question. Okay. So once you have a a problem, then you will have to come up with a research question. You know why? Uh, the research question basically is a question that, if you are able to answer, may solve solve the problem. Okay. May may solve may uh, or or may help solve the problem it it may not yet solve the problem as it is but that but but it can lead to the solution uh, perhaps there are other researches that has to be done uh, one by one no? maybe 10 researches had had to be done and all of them uh, pointing towards the problem if you're able to do that then you're able to to consider uh, and then perhaps you're able to substantially uh, make some progress in s solving the problem. Okay, so you, I advise you to end up your introduction with a, with a statement of the research question. Okay, so that that is a kind of a, a signal that, okay, so this is the research question, and 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 keep keep that in mind. No, keep that in mind. Uh, with uh, I'll write it here re the no research uh, question but you have to be the one I mean, you, you don't need to be very very uh, like straightforward no uh, you can you can state the research question in a in a uh, smooth no manner like a story of your your context review of literature the newspaper news that you found the, the etc no and then the context and then and then subtly subtly uh, mention the research question okay when well, number two would be the methodology okay so how what are the things no the method the methodology is the how of the research so how are you going to uh, go about your research uh, what are you going to do so here comes the research design is it qualitative or quantitative so as I there was a lecture about about the distinction between quantitative and qualitative the the theoretical uh, framework what are the 
concepts, conceptual framework. What are the concepts that you are trying to analyze? No, or is it what? Are, what are you going to do with the independent variable? Uh, and then uh, how will you study the dependent variable? So, if you are going to do sample, then what kind of sampling is it? Uh, is it random? Is it systematic? Uh, what or is it? Uh, uh, stratified you know, talk about it very briefly so so uh, the, the this research article is is uh it's not really very long no uh, actually the budget pages is four no the minimum number of pages would be four so the maximum number of pages would be eight no so it has to be four six or eight it cannot be five or seven it cannot be three or two it has to be four six or eight Okay, so that's why you have to write it down first and then try to uh, put everything there and if you are able to to achieve the four pages and that's that's good no but if if you are short of four pages then you have to make uh, you have to make an effort that you have to, to to discuss some more okay you have to talk about something some more. Uh, or if you have already gone overboard like five pages then you have to find a way of trimming it down or increasing it so that it would reach six so it's it's really like that no it's really like that when you when you write the research article so uh okay the abstract don't don't uh you have to write the abstract much much later okay well actually this is the last thing this is the last thing that you have to write up because you cannot write an abstract one if you don't have the conclusion yet so so yeah, there no so you you can actually uh, include a a uh, diagram or or a figure or i don't know no so in in your methodology okay. so talk about uh, about that no okay next is this one is the the third one is the results and discussion by the way, if you if you look at the I M R N D, yeah, it it will uh, add up. If you look at the initial words, the initial letters of the words, it will uh, it will lead you to come up with a an acronym called IMRAD. Okay, IMRAD. So this is this is like like a, the format. No, uh, it will keep you. Uh, it it will keep you reminded. Uh, always that you know i am r n d so introduction methodology resource and discussion so okay here if uh if you will uh, if there's like a proportion uh, proportioning of your research i would say that the results and discussion would be the m the m the one that will take the most uh the most number of uh, pages no uh so if it's uh maybe one half no one half or a little over one half would be the results and discussion because this is the most interesting part no this is the results and discussion is uh is the one that will uh, tell tell the story about what what did you find out what are the results and then not just telling us the numbers or telling us the stories but uh, what what lies behind those numbers okay so and then it has to be discussed it has you have to talk about it no? uh, you have to tell us the story so uh, this research you, you have to look at the research as a kind of a story okay it's a it should be a it should be a nice story like like a movie okay but, but like a movie but <laughs> as, but Th that it has a story okay it has a story so the, the results and discussion is is something that might uh, uh, require you to to put some drawings so this is the technique that that I want you to uh, to uh, to to get no uh, be because uh, in the past I have really you know I really have a a, a very uh, hard time in in uh, putting together or making the the 
the image or the figure always uh, be attached to the caption okay so let me ch yeah I will change the the font of the caption or later okay uh, I will I will change it now no, to Arial okay and then I will change the, uh, the it to black okay and then uh, not bold okay I will I, I will apply it later later no so uh, you notice that the image is uh, and the caption is encased or enclosed in a in a in a uh, kind of a frame okay uh, that uh, that will enable us to to move the frame a anywhere we like okay and the frame and the and the uh, caption stays together now I just make made the frame uh, very light okay so that as if there is no frame okay but uh, to make it obvious uh, just for this I will uh, make it yeah I'll turn it into red uh, so you see that there's red okay but it it should not be red in fact I I want to uh, to erase it no so I I will uh, make it into uh, uh, sh the shape outline to no outline okay as if there is no no line but uh, so okay so for example lang okay so for example uh, let me just uh, up, update this uh, update the caption okay so you notice that when I updated the caption all the captions have have become uh, the same font okay let's try to make this a bit smaller okay then update the caption then this one also became smaller okay. <coughs> Okay, let me just uh, then. Okay, so uh, what basically uh, what we do? For example, here you want to to insert a, a an image. Okay, so for example, uh, there's an image here. So uh, on your own, no, depending on your laptop. So you draw a text box. Okay, draw a text box. I, I set up my my word in a way that there's a text box in 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 this uh, ribbon they call it the ribbon okay so all you have to do is to if it's not there yet so you go to insert and then text box okay here text box then you you use the, the text box here no? then you make a kind of uh, a rectangle okay something like this okay and then you make sure that um, it is uh, this one okay uh, like top and bottom okay. so uh, then you uh, you can make it longer but you cannot make it narrower because it will not appear uh, nice okay so now uh, uh, for example you want to put a drawing in it no uh, then you put insert and I'll try to put something in it, no? uh, perhaps a map or whatever. Uh, I will uh, grab it from, I don't know where I can uh, grab it. Okay, I will try to, uh, for example, this one, <coughs> the construction of the library. Okay, So it the, the picture will automatically uh, try to fit into that box. Yeah, you can actually make it bigger. Okay. Uh, I will uh, put control so that it will become bigger so y you notice that that it has lost uh, I will make the the frame a, a little bit bigger okay and then I will choose it to become yeah it's red I will try to s um, stretch it proportionately Okay, so it's there, and then uh, it's still growing. 
Okay, wait lang. <coughs> Let's okay. Now it has stopped. Uh, it has become stable. Then you right click, and then you insert. Click insert caption. Okay, so figure two. So then you there must be no. There must be some some uh, title for for whatever the figure is. So. Uh, the structural members for example for example okay then if you got this from somewhere uh, in the internet then you have to put the source no? if you if your friend took a picture of it then that's it no? so for example this this is f uh, the source of this is for example uh, example lang, huh? uh, 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 professional no? professional regulations regulations or maybe i got it prc and uh, that uh, prc that go that ph okay for example no? okay so there so you can uh, okay so there there could be some some adjustment on the paragraph okay you can delete this okay but if it's if uh, some you have to to take a look at the, the entire page because uh, sometimes this this um, orphan they call it no it doesn't doesn't appear very nice no if there are two lines so you can push it down okay and then that's it so so there are no like uh, so it lo it looks good on paper so b and then uh, maybe if there's another line on top uh, that seems to be hanging somewhere then you can just uh, make it a bit bigger here okay so something like this no and then you uh, you you remove the outline okay so something like that so if you want to uh, make this a bit longer why? Because there there seems to be a lacking space there. But anyway, so um, you don't. Uh, okay, let let's try to follow. Let's follow the format. But if it's too much for you, you no, know, especially when you're dealing with the with the images and it's just kind of like very difficult. Uh, well, I I wouldn't be that strict, you no, know, uh, because it takes a while, you no, know, to to master this uh, you know putting it at the center etc making adjustment and then uh, in some cases as you make some adjustments here the some some paragraphs you know go to some another page etc so it it can so make you uh, I you become a little bit agitated no? okay so that's it no? so the resultant discussion may may have even the methodology may have some some inputs or diagrams so it's nice no now <coughs> my advice uh, always always so if you put a an image anything actually the 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 images or the there are the elements that you put aside from the text are images okay images includes maps uh, diagrams drawings photographs okay those are the images another one would be table okay table so it's either an image or a table so if it's an image they call it figure okay so uh, a photograph is a figure um, a diagram is a figure but if it is a table like this you know, there's a sample here uh, this is a table so uh, then you you put the the title uh, table okay table one uh, the list of whoever whatever no and then uh, okay so this chart is is uh, out of place so let me just I will so this is an example okay this is an example of I what I told you what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, cut this 
<coughs> and then I'm gonna uh, insert a text okay. and then click the up down and then paste paste it paste the chart here okay so uh, then I will put the caption uh, insert caption where is the caption there insert caption here then this this becomes a this is what's something that's very nice no so the the figure for uh, uh, appears no construction cost okay and maybe source uh, because it doesn't it didn't well it, it if it came from you then you don't need to pu put the source so but for example lang, uh, the source is uh, okay so it came from you so it's your tabulation uh, it's your graph uh, the graph that that came from your data okay so there is no source okay so there's a, s a lot of space below so you can uh, drag it up now. okay so that this will be the results and discussion um, i i don't know if if the this is something you have to experiment for maybe you wanted to insert a huge <laughs> let's try now let's try on the next page for example you want to insert a huge box no for some reason you're you wanted to ins to put a, a huge box let's see what happens well it does no you can uh, in insert a huge box to the point that it that it uh, cuts across the two columns okay then uh, let's insert a, a figure so this is a figure let's try uh, searching or something <coughs> uh, But the <laughs> okay, so let's uh for example, this is the playing ground. No? This is something very important. So let's uh, crop it uh, and let's see how it fits well in in your very large space. Okay, it, since you want to. Oh, okay yeah it it's kind of like i don't know why uh, my computer is kind of like having a hard time <laughs> okay so it's not <laughs> it's not long enough okay so uh perhaps we can trim it a bit three depends on 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 your situation okay uh, this seems to be nice already okay for example okay then it has stabilized i have to click the outside uh, text box then the insert caption next figure five uh, basketball court okay S since you're the one who photographed took a photo of it then there will be no source now <coughs> uh, i you can adjust this a bit oh. okay like that so uh, don't be surprised is if when you put the the images no there will be some flexing of of uh, like uh, putting some some of the text here and there rearranging so always keep um, a backup file always always keep a backup file just just in case your your computer could not handle such an editing editing uh, demand then and then it crashes then you are able to uh, save a backup file okay so we are still in the resource and discussion as i've said then finally uh, number four th this should be number four already okay because research and this resource and discussions would be number three okay so conclusion okay conclusion would be number uh, number four okay so conclusion uh, will be very very straightforward so remember your research question 
So your conclusion is simply an answer to your research question. Uh, okay. So it will probably be just one paragraph no, or two paragraphs. You don't need to and you should not uh, repeat what you have already written on your discussion. Okay. And uh, avoid avoid saying the the cliche, you know, uh, based on the data, based on the research, based on the on the uh, discussion that I have made, I I would like to conclude. So you don't really need to say to say those lines because uh, everything that you say is certainly based on your data based on your research based on your results and discussion so uh, it is the, the conclusion is is not gonna be based on something <laughs> something else that you have not written okay so uh, um, <coughs> let me go back no, let me go to back to the res results and discussion so um, you notice that I mean you we experience you 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 have seen me inserting uh, photographs diagrams uh, images things like that no so when you insert these images make sure that uh, we find some discussion about those images otherwise uh, there will be a big question on why you you inserted uh, that that uh, image in the first place no? so uh, for example I, I would be this would be an image that captures the the use of the ba basketball court then you will say uh, on figure number five you will find that the basketball ba basketball court in some some occasions are used for as a passageway no from for of the different uh, for example, this lady no, came from somewhere, passing by. Uh, this boy, I think, is playing basketball, and these uh, little girls are uh, not playing. Obviously, not playing. You, you, there must be some kind of a discussion. And then, uh, uh, interestingly, you might see uh, a person repairing a bicycle, so uh, a, s a space that has been meant for sports has become a space where many different activities can happen okay so so there has to be some kind of a a uh, a discussion okay? it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be uh, a discussion that will take uh, several pages and and by the way uh, you don't need to you you just just tell us what the image talks about no you don't need to you don't need to say in the image you will find um, uh, six persons and uh, there's a curved line in the middle etc we, we can the, the picture already uh, talks about it no okay it doesn't it doesn't just I, I remember some students saying na, as you can see you know <laughs> okay uh, what 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 is in the image that that uh, the reader should should try to understand okay that's what you write and by the way uh, the the research uh, this word is a very very powerful uh, application no? so for example you want to talk about figure 5 all you have to do is to click the referencing and then you uh, <coughs> I'm sorry you uh, you click this cross reference and then uh, then you look at the figure uh, figure figure numbered item <coughs> and then wait how huh, where's the figure yeah that that one you scroll down figure and then uh, figure five then I, w I want to just put the the uh, label and the number and then you click insert and then it says there figure five uh, it's just a matter of uh, re re reformatting it and then close okay so uh, this would be nice because this is kind of like attached to to your figure 5 so if 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 for some f 
from some instance this figure 5 becomes figure 6 because you inserted another figure before this then this will automatically change to figure 6 okay let me just uh, change it to um, Arial so that uh, it become consistent and this one is 10 okay the size of the 10 the font is 10 okay so that's it no so uh, when you it, it it is shaded here but when you print it then it it, uh, it appears to be uh, just a normal text okay so uh, again reminder for every figure table uh, that you you include or insert uh, there must be some sort or short uh, discussion so you can click it here so cross reference so figure bookmark footnote and note ah, okay there's another if you there's an equation no equation pala no so if it's a mathematical uh, solution and you want to show an equation it is not a figure but it's it's a it's an equation so conclusion okay so conclusion that's it no the uh, if you want, if you still have some spaces to spare, then you can add uh, uh, conclusions and recommendations. Okay. If you have, if you, if you, you can uh, stop at conclusion, but if you have, uh, if you want to uh, dwell on recommendations, okay. So recommendations, but for me the recommendations are are secondary that i don't i don't i mean i'm not so much keen on having a recommendation at this point okay but if you want you can put recommendations so recommendations can be can be uh, two types okay so first is what what do you recommend for uh, future researches like uh, this is usually uh, a a result of some kind of limitation of your research so uh, all researches have limitations therefore uh, uh, for example uh, i mean the, the simplest example is for example you you made a pilot study and it covered uh, barangay maa no <coughs> and then you found something interesting and your recommendation would be to replicate uh, the same sorry to replicate the study to barangay magtuod or bar to some other barangays okay and compare no compare the the results okay so that would be uh, like what kind of research chess do you want to recommend so one or two it doesn't have to be 10 okay <coughs> and number two uh, that's that the second type of recommendations is if you have found something very interesting and and something that is uh, that can be used that can be uh, that can benefit a lot of people then you recommend uh, the the uh, for example you found that uh, because of this uh, uh, very slippery tiles that resulted to uh, m major accidents you know, fracture whatever to some people then you recommend that uh, this tile uh, should uh, be removed or be uh, replaced by something else no? so to in order to uh, prevent no or to avoid uh, accidents okay and the last one no, second to the last one is the reference okay the reference okay so don't don't uh, don't end your research article without these references okay so i would be expecting about five at least no five references so uh, it could be um, uh, an an article that you found in the internet or a website or um, uh, a page or usually there's there's a particular uh, website and then in in one of the pages there's a a no the, the the article is there no for example autocad it has uh, a very very na a good and reliable uh, sources 
uh, or resources uh, <coughs> uh, for example the from the from the uh, website of the uh, construction uh, agencies or like or or some websites of the national statistics office things like that so those are the sources but it would be nice if you have some uh, books no references or journals even so but there there are <coughs> there are there are uh, ways of writing it down so here comes uh, your your uh, the use of the Harvard okay so so what we can do is to uh, for example huh? okay so in in one of the in one of the sentences you made use of a particular uh, uh, I, I have some here already no um, okay so I got it from <coughs> from uh, Lizada so I just make sure that it's not it's it's not uh, bold so I I used Lizada okay I I I, I used this book when I wrote my master's thesis so uh, I'm gonna put uh, Lizada in here so these are just examples I, I, I will not sorry I will not uh, uh, erase it I'm gonna use the references again and then put the insert um, bibliography okay this one bibliography uh, or then then there's this one references then it will automatically uh, include the the what I have cited okay uh, so I have cited Lizada and Corsino some, some, somewhere there and then I will just uh, turn it into Arial I, no, I just make sure that all my fonts are Arial and uh, at 10 then and then that's it no uh, 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 I forgot to turn this into area I will turn it into area now okay so uh, that's it no author's name initial so Corsino EI so uh, I'd like to make sure that it is already Harvard okay it is already Harvard it's there Harvard so the APA is there but uh, we have used it before now we are gonna use Harvard so this is uh, pretty much the 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 format of Harvard okay uh, let let me give you an example of or for example this uh, Morby and liberal uh, for example it came from uh, let's just make make up some something no uh, let's uh, insert new citation add new source and then uh, let's uh, let's say website okay a website so the author of the website is uh, there are authors some 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 sometimes there is no author so the author of the website is the the name of the website no so for example here there's a person okay uh, the la cruz then the first name is uh, Juan, for example, and then the sorry uh, uh, Juan, and then the middle name is, for example, P. Okay, then add it, then close. Now, if there's only one author, and then the name of the web page is, for example, uh, claim climate change uh, is inevitable. For example, no. And it was I I saw the article uh, in 2019, for example, and then I I accessed it. No, although the article was published in 2019, I just accessed it uh, yesterday, for example, 2021 April. Uh, let's say 20, and then the URL uh, is. HT ex exactly how it is. Uh, uh, there's an example below. No? This one H uh, HTTP. Ha you copy it directly from your browser. 
for example www dot uh, climate change adaptation dot un for example no if there's such a thing then you just click OK uh, then I uh, try to um, be consistent with the font okay so that's it now if you go back to your references okay then update click update then the uh, the the ww climate change appears okay just make sure that you you uh, click Ar Arial again okay so that that's that that's how it is no uh, online i uh, sorry de la cruz online uh, climate change is enable, uh, available access like so it's automatic no this is automatic uh, okay so you notice that uh, uh, now that you have finished up to the references now you can write your abstract okay so abstract there and then uh, oh, then finally when you're done you have to save it okay save it and then print it print it as pdf okay so microsoft print to pdf and then um, uh, the title or the the file name of your pdf could be your name no? your name your family name uh, uh, as it appears no, in in the in your LMS okay so you notice that okay you notice that this is kind of blank okay oh this is five pages okay so in that case uh, as I've said no five pages in the okay uh, so you have to to trim down okay trim down something let's try you know so of course you trim down not not just just by eliminating those uh, uh, or not just by eliminating okay just uh, otherwise you might miss some <laughs> it's not just 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 like that okay I will remove this uh, uh, it seems this one is problematic okay so now it's uh, I will just of course streaming down is not as easy as that right okay? okay so for example like this no and then uh, I don't need this anymore this is the last line okay. okay so this is uh, four okay so you notice that there's just a very little space that has been left no you can print this print as pdf and then uh, it will ask you for the place where you save it and then file name will be your your name no uh, whatever your name is no? uh, family name and then that's it and then that's the one that you're gonna upload and uh, <coughs> i'm going to to turn on the safe assign assign no, the, this is a feature of uh, of the LMS let me just go back to my okay so <laughs> uh, it's been a while <laughs> it's, I don't know how many minutes we have used uh, yeah almost an hour already have been talking uh, almost an hour so uh, I will uh, be turning on the the safe assign. Okay, safe assign is a feature of our Blackboard uh, LMS. Okay, it is similar to turn it in. So what does this do? Um, this will uh, look for a similarity index. So it will scan through your file. It will take a while, no? So uh, and you will know it. No, you will know your your num your similarity index. So once you submit it. Uh, the the LMS Blackboard will scan. It will look at your 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 manuscript and uh, match it with its uh, database. Uh, 
it it has a database of millions of articles everywhere no? so uh, so the references the words that you have used all of them will be matched cross matched now it's a very very tough job okay uh, for for uh, LMS and then of course uh, it will you know it will find something uh, that that you have written to match with what has been written by someone else or written by your classmates uh, so so um, what happens okay if the so the the safe assign will will give give us a similarity index okay it's a percentage so um, you uh, uh, copy paste work for example you copy uh, uh, an article in the internet and paste it <laughs> directly just then that will be hundred uh, percent plagiarism okay so uh, never do that okay never never <laughs> don't do that so you have to be original so so are we what are we looking at we are looking at about 20 percent no or 25 percent i'm not so sure when sige na lang okay we'll we'll agree with 25 percent similarity index uh, is something that is acceptable okay beyond 25 25 to 30 uh, that's that's already some kind of a red 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 flag more than 30 very bad okay? there's too much I, I just imagine 30 percent of what you have written so that's uh, approximately if there if you submitted four pages one page no if you put it together one page is is from someone else directly copied not not good no, not good okay so we are we are just uh, trying to uh, be original so original is not zero uh, zero similarity index uh, the, the moment you are are able to cite sources in your review of literature it means that that uh, no, you're using someone else's idea and that's that's perfectly acceptable okay so uh, i hope you enjoy watching this over the weekend so that when we meet again uh, you will be able to to uh, ask uh, some questions or clarify certain matters